Hey guys, it's Phyllis. Welcome back to my channel. I don't even know what to say. I get nervous when I shoot a video. I'm like totally, I'm totally drawing a blank on what to say. That's why you should follow me on Instagram. My life is Phyllis. Hey guys, it's Phyllis. Welcome back to my channel, and this is my weekly weigh-in video. Well, I just want to let you guys know how my week went, what I went through, what I experienced. I was hungry. I get hungrier as the weeks as the uh, week goes on. Like Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I'm starving. <laughs> I don't know why. It's just how my body works. But normally I weigh in on Saturdays and I work this Saturday and I completely forgot to weigh in. Saturday around 4 o'clock p.m. I went out to dinner with my family, had some Mexican food, so I didn't think it would be a good idea to like weigh in then. And uh, Sunday I got up and I weighed myself and I'm just, I'm not going to count this week at all. I, I have no idea if I lost any weight. I actually gained a pound. Um, because I did go out to eat Saturday, and, and that's okay. But um, my whole schedule is a little thrown off because I didn't weigh in Saturday. So I'm just going to consider this week as a zero loss, and that happens sometimes. But um, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to start weighing in on Sunday mornings instead of Saturday mornings, which I had done for many, 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 many months. Um, that way, um, I held myself a lot more accountable for the weekend eating. And my weekends count just as much as Monday through Friday does. So um, I'll let you guys know how that goes. So I'm just going to count this as a zero, a zero. <laughs> But um, I think my goals this week are going to be I'm going to incorporate intermittent fasting a little bit more. I do do it a few times a week where I have a time that I start eating, which is normally between uh, 11.30 and noon. And then my cutoff time will be about 7 p.m. And then I usually eat my points in that time frame. It works for me. I did it in the past. I really like it. Then there's not a whole lot of thought process of what am I going to eat every two hours. If that works for you, that's good. I may eventually go back to that. You know, eat a meal, snack, eat a meal, snack, eat a meal, snack, then call it a day. But um, I do like the way intermittent fasting feels for me. So I'm going to do that. Um, I'm going to try to do five days this week versus two or three. And I'll get back with you about that. That's kind of a hot commodity right now with people who are, um, you know, in fitness or on a weight loss journey to do that fasting. So um, that's kind of it. There was zero loss. I've said that like three times already. But I've been doing my grocery shopping at Aldi's. And I noticed um, shopping at Aldi's, I don't spend as much as if I went to Publix or... Which is my, which is the main grocery store I used to go to, or if I may stop at Winn Dixie, or I need to just switch things up for something to do, I may go to Walmart. Um, what I like about all these is that there's not, you know, 50 aisles to scroll up and down to search for food. It is just several aisles, you know, produce in the middle, your um, your dairy and frozen foods are on the outskirts, and basically you're done. With so. That has been saving me a substantial amount of money, but everything I buy at Aldi's, I really, really love and I enjoy eating. But I think if I want a variety of foods to eat, or if I happen to get burnout on what I'm currently eating, which I do experience, um, then I'll I'll go back to Publix for you know a few shopping trips, and then I'll eventually go back to Aldi's. So one of the food items that I want to show you that I found at Aldi's is, it's a comes in a box like this. It's called Contessa 
cutting board. It's a Cuban style wild rockfish and inside of this um, package is wild rockfish fillets plus seasoned rice and it has mango salsa, red bell pepper, onion and jalapeno medley and mojo marinade. Um, it's chef designed meals made by you, all ingredients included. It does have two servings in it. So the packaging is really cool. I like it. Um, I've never noticed it so I can't say it's new to Aldi's and maybe new to Phil Phyllis. It does say it takes the complete meal takes 30 minutes to make um, and it and then, then it gives you instructions over here on what you need to do. Um, I believe it, this is 18 points for two servings so if you cook it and you eat it for two different meals so just divide 18 by 2 and that's about what this meal would be. So I will keep you posted on on this and my thoughts about that and another thing that I, I, I've been using, um, I've been doing meal preps on Saturday or Sunday. And um, normally, I would, once I meal prep, I will just portion out all the foods in a standard um, you know, plastic container with a lid that's deep enough to hold all my foods. But I'm going a little old school on you right now. I do enjoy going to the thrift store. And I'll show you what I found at the thrift store. I paid two dollars and two cents for this. This is old school Tupperware. That's the front, that's the back, and got some. It's got some pockets in it. They are kind of deep, so you can, you know, fruits, vegetables, or vegetables, chicken, whatever. So I'm going to try this. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and try this. Um, it is old school Tupperware. If you guys can see the Tupperware on there, <laughs> it's so funny. It's got the Tupperware on the back too. So I have been enjoying this. I really like it. It does take up, you know, some space in your refrigerator, but you know, it's just something a little bit different in a routine that changes us up, that makes things just a little bit more exciting. So um, another thing that I have been enjoying is a Morphe foundation brush. This is M439. I really like this brush uh, for, for my foundation and I've used it a little bit for powder. It is like a dense kabuki brush and sometimes I'll just stipple it on and you know get up in my ears and go down my neck. I really have enjoyed this. The bristles, um, it, it's soft. It's dense. It doesn't suck up a lot of product. It gets it, uh, you know, it, it allows the distribution of your foundation, all of your face equally. And, um, you know, just give it, give some of that. Very good, you know. So if you're interested in a new foundation brush, I would check out Morphe uh, 439. So there you go. I'm a little tired today, so this is a quick and to the point video. Oh, one more thing. I may have showed you this, but I'm going to show it to you again. If you're if you are trying to break the habit of drinking um, sodas or drinking less soda, um, Aldi's has Pure Aqua. This is Blue Vi Grapefruit Sparkling Water. It has no no sodium and no calories. Um, I have really liked this. If you like the feel of the carbonation in your throat, it does give you a good bubbly sensation. I've enjoyed, I've really enjoyed drinking these. So good. So you guys, I thank you so much for tu tuning in. I still get nervous doing these videos. I do not know why. I try to uh, pretend like the camera is, you know, a friend. I pretend like it's you. How would I talk to you if I was just hanging out, just kiki? And um, I still, this thing still makes me trip and stutter over my words because my mind is racing so fast and I'm trying to get it all out and trying to make sense, trying to be a little funny. But there you guys go. I thank you so much for spending some time with me. And if you haven't yet, you can follow me on Instagram and on Facebook as My Life is Phyllis. Describe, you hit the subscribe button down below, give it a thumbs up, and hit the bell for notifications of when my video is uploaded. And just give me a comment down below of how 
you are doing and do you need a little bit of encouragement because I'll, I'll surely sit down and send you a little word of encouragement. But, but once again, thanks you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.